So the following conversation is between me, Jesse McCarthy with MontessoriEducation.com and Simone Davies of the MontessoriNotebook.com. Simone and I sat down one Saturday morning over Skype and just asked each other a few challenging questions around teaching and parenting, what we thought of as kind of gray areas in Montessori. Now in this fourth clip, and there are five in total, we talk about technology. And I am sure we'll rile up a few people with this one. So. Okay, so should we pivot? It's probably a good jumping off point yeah, for, yeah, for technology. Yeah, for technology. technology. Simone is excited so- about this one. So let's see what she's got. I'm going to ask it to you yeah. then, Simone, because no, you are so pumped. many people ask <laughs> okay. me, like, um, what, yeah, how do you deal with iPads and technology in your homes with yeah, Montessori? So what, what do you, do? particularly, I mean, Simone, you're dealing with toddlers where this is where it just starts. It all starts. I mean, even in infancy. So what are your views? Let's start with that. The youngest age is technology. Yeah, so I do tend to agree with the doctors and the research that you don't need technology with children under three and even under six. You know, it's all about hands-on learning. You've got a visitor behind you. Hi. Look, Charlie, you want to come say hi? No? Charlie's like, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab this tiger and get out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, there he is. See, in our world, there's always a child somewhere in the background. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Anyways, go yeah, on. So as I was saying, no, 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 it's all good. Um, yeah, so I really believe that um, in the youngest years, hands-on learning is the most appropriate, and that's actually physically holding something in your hand. And so Dr. Montessori was known to have said, you know, first give something to the hand before you give it to the mind yeah. and for the child to touch and feel and explore. And that's different to tracing a letter on an iPad, even if it's a Montessori app, you know, and um, people are worried, oh, well, if I don't expose them to technology, then they're going to be left behind all their peers. And I'm like, if a two-year-old can open an iPad, they're really not going to be behind you know it's so intuitive these days that technology is very easy to grasp um and so i think that um technology is such a problem because it sneaks into the day without parents even noticing it like you're in a cafe and you just want them to be quiet for a couple of minutes so you give them the phone or you're on the phone like you're you're speaking to someone you just quickly give them the phone and they nag for it and all of a sudden i think we don't it was almost easier in the olden days when you had a TV and you turned it on and off. But yeah, like the, I think the iPad switch. and the phones just sneak in. And then, you, but then I'm like, I am actually okay with like skyping a grandparent because this is like a phone call and yeah. this is about communication, how we connect with other people. And so to say that I'm not going to have any technology in the house isn't always the answer either. I really like Sue Palmer's approach as the children get older. She wrote a book called Toxic Childhood and What You Can Do About It. And even though it was before iPads, the same principles apply for me. And she basically said, do you want to be the family that is a bit freaky because they don't have the TV? You know, they don't even know what's going on in their world. Or do you want to give them just enough um you know, exposure to technology so that your child doesn't feel left out, but you're making mindful choices about what they're watching or what mm-hmm. um, you know, technology they're exposed to. So when my children did get bigger. They could have half an hour of computer time and that could be on a computer or an iPad or TV or, you know, a screen of some sort. When you say get older, what around what time were you doing this limit? This is like six to 12. And actually, even through their high school years, they had mobile phones once they were 12 and above and they were cycling to school by themselves. Can I uh, let me throw throw something at you? First, I just imagine, let's say you're somebody like like yourself that's saying thoughtful about technology, but you want to have these Skype sessions with, like, say, a family member or or you just read a lot and you started to read on an iPad. So how does that work with a young child who's seen mom or dad and they're reading on the iPad? Yeah, so I would model different ways of reading. I'd have a Kindle for reading, which isn't connected to the internet, and I'd have books and be reading books and use iPads for – actually, I don't have an iPad. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> see, this is – I like more. that, Simone. See, I have an iPad, and I can tell you that I – you know, the the app on that I like much better for reading. So I think – it just in thinking about this, like as you're saying, be thoughtful about it. So I wonder if you could have an iPad, but you don't have 50,000 apps on there that could just be clicked into and like video games all over the place. But just maybe it's it's set for one mode and it's got your book on there. And so yeah, your child think, sees you reading, you know? 
Yeah, and um, like that you people say, oh, they keep turning on the TV. I'm like, why do they have access to the remote controls? So yeah. like, put yeah. the iPad away, put the TV remote control away when you're not using it. What I think was really interesting is that my kids, you know, even though they had limited amount of technology, they still could code a website. You know, um, they still. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, so where my, were they get? Then where did they learn it from? If they're only getting half an hour, uh, what did you say? Half an hour a day or half an hour what? Uh, yeah, it was half an hour a day at the time. Okay. Um, and like I was once working on my own website. I'm like, do you want to know how to build a website here? This is how we open a WordPress website. And we yeah. just started doing They're like, oh, so you add a menu here. And they were just dragging it around. It's so intuitive for them that they were building websites, you know, really easily. And my daughter once did a coding course um, at school okay. that they had. And um, Oliver's now studying computer science at, you know, university. So they're not oh, going nice. to be behind their neighbors you know, they're, they're co colleagues. And also I found it really important that they knew what Minecraft was so that they didn't feel like left out. But I was also able to control it and we d didn't have the zombie version. They were like playing more the creative mode. Yeah, so yeah. Um, it's like, it's, it's making mindful choices. There was also a great game called um, Railroad Tycoon where they designed their own fun yeah. park and they had to like work out like how it would be effective. Yeah, yeah and yeah. it's kind of like you have choices about what technology your children are exposed to um, and so use it very mindfully. But I mean, yeah. people might disagree with me and say I don't see there's any value in technology no, at all, um, but it's and about finding the right limits for your family. Yeah, and it's funny. By the way, in Minecraft, a, a child just a few years ago, a child was on me about Minecraft. You got to play this. You got to play this. And then just recently, he's like, you got, you got to get on your iPhone. So it's not just fun to play on the computer, but you got to have it on your iPhone. And I mean, I got to tell you, these kids, when you're doing Minecraft, right, that's a thoughtful game. Like, there's a lot going on in that for older children. Um, so you just definitely don't sound like the kind of anti-technology, get everything out of your home. It's more being mindful about it. So I really appreciate that. And then the question I would have is, there are things that you can do online, like say coding now that like if I had an an eight year old and this is super dependent on the child's interest, but he's just you can tell his life is like, I want to be co a coder. I think I would be much more likely to say, yeah, you know, what? go for it. And it's just like something in the classroom that if he was doing math for all day long, two months in a row, I might say, OK, it's time. Let's 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 transition over to something else and do it in a proper way. But allow that kind of, you know, I get sucked into something that's actually productive as opposed to if you're playing, you know, Zelda for, you know, a two weeks straight on your video game, you're missing out on the world in some way. So um, I'm curious, would you would you consider that similar or you think technology is this kind of all completely separate thing that you just would not allow such involvement? Um. I think it's hard to say, but I mean, maybe, yeah, if they're coding and you see it as productive and it's like something, you know, there's some super interesting things that they can work out. Like there's a game that I know one of, um, they're now in high school kind of age and I'm trying to think of the name of it and you design rocket ships and basically he's doing physics, trying to calculate yeah. how to get his rocket ship to go yeah, out. So yeah. then, you know, this is like, okay, well actually I guess this is almost like a subject area that he's working on. And so, yeah. but what if I also don't think that beyond an hour, it's that much, I think I would want them to get outdoors and, and it's just something that they, it's a choice of how you could use your time. So I'm like, I can see you're really working on that. And I think it's really important that we move our bodies and we're not stuck behind screens and they're already at school for six hours a day where they're kind of constrained yeah. by four walls often. So um, I think that's my challenge is like to give them license because that stuff can suck you away for hours and hours. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. And yeah, that sedentariness, I think, is the thing that I'd be worried about in that case. So yeah, I probably I think, still have some limits around it and then just be checking in like, yeah. And this, I think this goes full circle because it's just, you're, you've got this broad perspective about the whole child. You're not thinking just, okay, technology has this one rule. It's like, oh, there's also, I want my child moving. So if he was doing some, some work where he's stationary outside of quote technology, you'd still say, hey, well, let's get outside and move a little bit. Like it's not necessarily like technology is the demon, you know? Um, one other thing I think that's, that's, I hear a lot, particularly from from men, is like, well, I'm I, d I did pretty well, and I played video games, you know, all throughout junior high and high school. And I mean, I definitely played a lot of video games, particularly in junior high. And I I'm curious, what do you think of that argument? 
Well, I watched a lot of TV after school. We sat and we could sing all the jingles of all the songs. And I would not, I chose not to do that with my kids. I'm like, that's not what, yeah. how I want them to spend their afternoon. So it's the same argument. It's like, yes, and there's many other things that I would rather you do. So we had, like, for example, I always had a box that had like a little drawer for pencils and a little drawer for scissors and a little drawer for glue and a little drawer with a stapler and lots of paper and comic strips kind of printed out so they could make comic strip books. And they were always hmm. making creative stuff with that instead. So so then they'd go off and start drawing a Minecraft magazine and, you know, taking their interest into other things. So, um, yeah, that would be my argument is like, yeah, and I did that and it's not the choice that I would make for my own children. <laughs> I like it.